Afide from the University of Guam Sea Grant. My name is Eilani Saban and I work with the sea turtles here on Guam. In this segment, we'll be talking all about sea turtles. Our first topic will be on sea turtle anatomy and biology. Anatomy means parts of the body. Hi everyone, my name is Natasha Higgins and I also work with sea turtles with Leilani. Today we have a very special guest joining us that's going to help teach all about sea turtle anatomy. So today we have a sea turtle named Ho'ani. So the first body part that we're going to look at is our front flippers. So on Ho'ani, these are her front flippers. And she uses these to swim in the water and to get to different places. So if you can think of a body part that's like the front flippers of a sea turtle, you can think of your hands. So can everyone put up your hands and wave them in the air like a sea turtle? Great job, everyone. So the next body part that we're going to look at is the sea turtle shell, also known as the carapace. Can everyone say carapace? Great job. So the carapace is really important for a sea turtle because it helps to protect all the internal organs inside. So you can think of a carapace as your back. So can everyone turn around and touch their back like a sea turtle? Great job, everyone. So the next body part we're gonna look at is the back flippers. So here are Hawani's back flippers. And the back flippers are like our feet. So can everyone stand up and stomp your feet? Good job. So now we're gonna turn Hawani over and we're gonna look at her underside or her belly. So her belly is called her plastron. Can everyone say plastron? Good job. So like I said, the plastron is like Hawani's belly. So can everyone rub their belly like the sea turtle? Great job, everyone. And then lastly, we're gonna look at Hawani's little baby tail. So can everyone wiggle their butts like the sea turtle? Great job, everyone. Now let's review the five body parts of a sea turtle. The front flippers are for swimming. The carapace or the shell protects the sea turtle's insides. The back flippers help with swimming and for mama sea turtles to dig nests for laying eggs. The plastron protects the underside and the tail is a body part that many other reptiles and sea animals have. Thanks, Natasha and Ha'ani, for teaching us all about sea turtle anatomy. Now let's learn about sea turtles on Guam. On Guam, we have two different types of sea turtles. The first one is called the green sea turtle, and the second one is called the oxbill sea turtle. So let's take a closer look at the green sea turtle. So in Chamorro, the green sea turtle is called Hagen Betty. Can everyone say Hagen Betty? Great job, everyone. Now, the green sea turtle is known as the green sea turtle, not only because it's green, but because of what it eats. So the green sea turtle loves to eat seagrass and algae. So the inside of its body is actually green. Pretty cool, right? Another thing about the green sea turtle is that it's a really, really big sea turtle. So of all the sea turtles in the world, the green sea turtle is the second largest. It can weigh up to 500 pounds and its carapace, or its shell, can reach up to four feet in length. You can find our Hagen Betty around our coastlines and seagrass beds. The Hagen Betty can also live really long. Up to 80 years is the longest recorded green sea turtle that scientists have found. So if you ever see a green sea turtle in the water, they're probably way older than you and me. The bigger they are, the older they probably are too. Next, we have the hawksbill sea turtle, known as the Hagen Karai in Chamorro. Can you guys say Hagen Karai? Good job. Now, compared to the green sea turtle, the hawksbill or the Hagen Karai is actually much smaller than the green sea turtle. They can only get up to about 45 inches in length. 
and weigh up to 150 pounds. So the reason why it's called a hawksbill sea turtle is because of its hawk-like beak, which it uses to eat sponges along our reefs where you can find them. Because they are smaller, they don't live as long as the hag and bed bee. They can live from around 30 to 50 years of age. Thank you all for joining us today. We hope you learned something new about these amazing animals. See you next time!